Hello, YouTube. As many of you know, I like fossils. And as some of you might can guess, my wife likes pearls. And I think that the two may have a connection. So recently I joined an online community called the Fossil Forum. Now the Fossil Forum is a collection of amateur and professional paleontologists that share their resources, their knowledge, and even plan trips together and things such as that. And even though that I had used their resources in the past to help ID some of my fossil finds, I had never joined the community. But with one of my subscribers' encouragement, I recently joined. And that leads me to a challenge that I have for that community today. You see, I have a few of the shells that I showed at the beginning of the video. Those are called Exogyra ponderosa and also Exogyra texana. I believe is correct. Those shells are actually a type of oyster. And these fossils, you know, really big ones, I've been able, I've been lucky enough to find some really nice ones on some of the fossil trips that I've gone on. And something that's interesting about the example that I showed you at the beginning is, not only is it the top part of the oyster, the top part of the shell, but it's got the bottom part as well. And so what that means, or I hope it might mean, is that on the inside of those Exogyra ponderosa shells, there could be pearls. That's right. I hope that there could be pearls inside some of these shells. So here's the challenge for the Fossil Forum members or for any other YouTube viewers that happen to have a good knowledge of fossils and how to prep them and work on them. So these fossils, I believe, came from the Ozan, O-Z-A-N, formation of North Texas. And as you can see on the inside is kind of a clay material. And that's what these fossils were preserved in. Now, as I said, these have both the bottom and the top, and on this one, it recently came loose. There it is right there. You know, usually out in the field, you will just find either the bottom or the top, but not both. And there's the inside of this one. Now, this one is flaky and crumbly, and so it might be easier to work with. But ones like the one I started the video with, you know, that looks fairly fossilized and harder to get open or get into. But even if I am able to get, in, get into them like on this one, I don't know how to go about processing this material, flaking it out, getting it out in such a way that will not damage the shell or damage a pearl if there is one somewhere on the inside. Now this one right here, it's already started to become loose but it's still connected. There's the other side of it. Here's this one. You know, you can see around the edges and it looks like it's a little bit loose right there. There's a little bit of a cracking. But we still have the matrix or the material on the inside that we have to work around. This one, I, I see some of the, the clay or the gray material, but I don't see how necessarily to get in there. And then here's the last one. And see, now that one had, I don't know if that's that uh, boring shell bore into the, and make those holes. You know, it's it's been worked out along this edge right here, but the the bottom part of the shell is still fully present there. So all of these, I would like to get some advice on how to uh, either work with the material that's right there or to get into them without damaging the shells or without damaging any possible pearls. So it looks like I have one, two, three, four, five, six possible uh, shells that could have pearls on the inside. I don't know, I guess one oyster could have multiple pearls. I don't know. I do remember from a long, long time ago, 
when I was in college and first found out about uh, these fossils, uh, all of them that, that most of my trips involve, uh, there was a book or something that mentioned a fossil pearl. I don't know if it would come out of these oyster shells, if the Exogyra ponderosa is known for having pearls or not. But if the members of the Fossil Forum can help me to either tell me, oh, you're not going to find any pearls on any of these, or yes, there could be some, or we don't know, but here's how to process them. Any of those things would be very helpful. I'd appreciate it. And let's see what can happen. So I guess most of the rest, the rest of the part of this conversation is going to take place over at the Fossil Forum, where I will post this video. Uh, you know, anybody who's interested in fossils, feel free to go over there and join up because it does seem like it's a really, really good community. All right. I don't want to turn that one over and dump that stuff out yet in case there's a pearl just waiting to fall out. But if anybody has any feedback at all, um, either post it in the comments down below or go over to the fossil forum and find the thread over there. And let's see what we can do. Thank you very much. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.